Hey guys, Malachi here, back from my long, um, what do you want to call it, scavenger hunt vacation. Um, yeah, it lasted through the 8th and then I've been sleeping to rest until now. So um, I'm finally back. So hi guys. <laughs> um, I am here, so yay. Um, I'm filming from here because my camera battery was sort of dying. So. Um, it needed to be charged like this is okay so this is a mess because my makeup bottles always end up a mess it looks like there's half left there it's a lie it's like dried up in there I thought I had a whole bunch left and Walgreens had like I got makeup all over me jeez oh, I got um I thought Walgreens had like uh, or Walgreens had CoverGirl buy one get one half off so I ran there and I got um, my base and I should have known it was running out because it gets gooey when it's starting to run out so um, I got my base and then since there was something for half price I have this color in a good it's like uh, Too Faced um, it was uh, gifted to me but I don't have matte so I got this in matte um, it's not quite dark enough for me, but the 90s are back, and this color was your go-to color in the 90s. Everyone had this color. Um, unfortunately, I did not wear this color in the 90s because um, I was evangelical, so I wore, like, I don't want to talk about what I wore. Um, part of the 90s, I did wear flannel, and I did have a pair of combat boots. And I did wear them with shorts and jeans. I just never really wore lipstick because I was not a big lipstick person back then. So anyway, um, I got my hair cut and it's a lot shorter this time. Well, it's not a lot shorter. I got it cut with a one and a half uh, clipper instead of a two. That's only a sixteenth of an inch difference. But um, my roommate, when she saw it, she was like, Jesus Christ! And I'm like, what's wrong with it? Oh my God, it looks awful! And now I'm like all freaked out about it. Part of it, this needs to grow. So through here needs to grow. So it's real hard to get it to lay. I actually use a really thick pomade to like press it down and get it to lay like it should. Um, but I figured out the reason it looks so bare is because I'm not dying this part anymore. I talked with my hairdresser. My hair is, that's my natural hair color, is brown and there's some gray in it. But there's not enough hair to really color. That's why it made such a hot mess last time I did it. Because it was just flying off of it because it's, I mean, you can probably hear it. There's just not enough there to color. There's no point. So I told her I wasn't going to color it anymore and she was like, good, don't. <laughs> because you're not, it's not catching all the hair. So we're just going to color the front and I want to go back to her because she's going to bleach this out and then we'll pick a color and um, I can actually do really fun colors. I can do pink, I can do purple, which I've done before. I've had all kinds of color of hair so I'm pretty excited uh, to delve into that. I'm really excited to do that. So. Um, I can't get my birthday tattoo, long story that I don't want to go into, um, but I am getting my nose done, um, which is something that, not tattooed, <laughs> pierced, which is something I've wanted for ages. Um, I'm getting a pre pretty big gauge. I don't want one of those little bitty dots. I want a punk rock, great big 16 gauge nose piercing. I've wanted it forever. And eventually I might get my, uh, I might get a, the same size here uh, in my septum. And then I also will be eventually, it'll probably be the first of the year, be getting snake bites. Um, and I'll be getting my ears redone. I have, I had five piercings in each ear at one point. Um, but this one I want to bar. And then I want all these open back up, but this one I'm going to stretch, but little, like a little plug, because the great big ones, they don't shrink back down. Most of you probably know that. You have to have plastic surgery to fix those. But there's a plug size that you can go up to that will shrink. Um, 
I just have to find out what size that is. And then that's as big as I will go. So um, these are things that I've wanted for years and I've not done them because I've been worried about what people will think. And I decided I'm not worried about what people will think anymore. I'm doing what I want to do because it's my face. So <laughs> anyway, um, and they make the really good clear jewelry now that you can wear. I mean, it's super, super clear. You cannot see it. So when I go see my uh, grandmother, I can put the clear jewelry in and she won't be able to tell that I have piercings because it's it's flat. They lay flat against your skin. So um, with a little makeup and help, she won't be able to tell. And when I get my tattoos, um, I'll get the Kat Von D tattoo cover up which is really good stuff. Put that on, she won't be able to tell that I have tattoos. So, um, you know, just out of respect to her, unless it's winter and then I'll just wear long sleeves and she won't think anything of it because she knows I like having my shirts down to here. So, um, that will take care of that. I'll have to wear a hat <laughs> because if she sees this haircut, she'll go absolutely insane. So, but again, she's used to me wearing hats because I wear them all the time in the winter. I never, I always have a hat on. It's just, I wear hats. I love them. And so I'm going to show you a few of my birthday presents. Um, I got this at the dollar store. These colors are fun, you guys. I've been wearing them. You can't see them with the reflection. Hold on. There. Uh, Pro Fusion's really, really good makeup. Um, if you do uh, reviews online, it's really good. I don't think it's tested on animals. You can't see, but this is a really dark military green. It's really, really friggin' cool. And this is like a blackish, brownish. I used it with these colors and it looked just fine. Um, but I've been using these two a lot. Um, and this is like a light pink. Anyway, it's a buck. It's their Twinkle Twinkle palette. Um, I recommend it. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Um, and then I showed you my stuff. These are birthday prezzies. I got this awesome, awesome hat. Would you guys look at this thing? Is this not the cutest? It's got little flowers. And it's got um, like serger stitches on it. How cute this is. Look how cute this is. I don't have it on right because I don't want to mess my hair up. It's a little tight. I have a huge head. <laughs> but it does fit. And um, I was wearing it around the house last night. I didn't take it off um, because I love it. My aunt sent me this. She knows me very well. She picks out really strange and unique things for me. The other thing she picked me out was this shirt, which is absolutely the truth. I always mean what I say. I just don't always mean to say it out loud. True. True facts. Then I got myself Nirvana shirt. It looks like I have no neck now. Nirvana shirt number one. And... Nirvana shirt number two. They had these at Walmart. Finally, my dead smiley face shirt. I've been waiting to get this one since I was 18. Um, back then, watching my time. Back then, the shirt um, on the back of it, the only one you can get like that on the back, it's just something about corporate bastards, down with corporate bastards or something like that. I can't remember completely what it said. It was when I was 18. I'm like 42 now in 10 days or something like that. So... Uh, my dad, I was 18, and it's not like he was like not going to allow me to have it, but he talked me out of it because he was kind of like, you're not going to be able to wear that everywhere, and, you know, is that the image you really want to portray? And I was like, yeah. And he was like, um, you know, he was like, yeah, but you're not that angry, you know, and he kind of, he talked me out of it, and... I got a shirt that I like just as much, but funny story, it was the Nirvana shirt with the infrared man on it, and the infrared man actually had an erection. Um, you have to look at it really closely to see it. I don't even know if you can find that shirt online anymore, but um, 
a friend of mine pointed it out to me uh, a while after I bought it and uh, I thought it was a riot. I was like, oh my God, I bought a shirt with a guy with a boner. <laughs> I was like, uh, I'm not going to tell dad. I'm just going to wear it around and laugh every time dad looks at it. So um, yeah, so that's my funny Nirvana shirt story. But between REM shirts, it was the Nirvana shirts. And for people that think you can't like Nirvana and R.E.M. because R.E.M.'s not grunge, Michael Stipe and Kurt Cobain were huge friends, and Kurt Cobain was hugely influenced by R.E.M. They were one of his favorite bands. So, music trivia for you. Funny thing, I went to the Salvation Army after I got my hair cut, which I shouldn't have done because now I'm totally broke. But this was a dollar, and you can't really see it. It's like a sweater. It's a sweater, tunic type thing. I got it way too big, it's a 4XL, but I got it to be a tunic to wear like a tank or a shirt under. And it matches that hat perfectly. I hadn't opened the hat yet. I didn't have any idea what was in that box till I got home. And I was like, wow, that's epic. And so I'm gonna get some jean leggings to wear with that. And then this is a men's shirt. It's a men's polo. It hangs down almost to my knees. Also purchased for leggings um, because of the designs. Here is, I'm just going to show you the back because it has angel wings on the back. Which is the whole reason and I love the color. And I love the design but the main reason was the angel wings. I wanted it. It was a dollar. And so those are my birthday things, and then my haircut, and I also picked up the Hard Candy Conceal and Correct palette, because even the Glamouflage was not completely covering my under eye circles, and the yellow actually helps with that. This is really good. Uh, it's $6. It's really good. Now I'm broke, um, but I can get my nose done, and... Uh, well, I'm not broke. I'm not going to say I'm broke. I shouldn't say things like that. That's just... I gotta stop saying stuff like that because that I don't want to manifest that crap. So anyway, um, and my aunt sent a beautiful card. Um, I'm not gonna share that because it's really it's it's personal. So, um, but anyway, I want you guys to know I'm back. I there's no way I can catch up on your videos. I'm so sorry. Um, I'm so so sorry. Uh, that I cannot do that. Um, it's just too many. <laughs> but I missed you guys. I missed your videos. Um, but Gish West was a blast. I messed up a little bit at the end. And for the first time in four years, I did not get some items submitted. Because I did not delegate properly as far the light keeps changing on this I'm sorry I didn't delegate properly because I micromanage like crazy because I'm a control freak because I'm a Leo on a Virgo cusp which just makes me insane but anyway um <laughs> sorry guys <laughs> but anyway it um it caused problems this year. I was not able to get everything done. So, um, because of that, we, uh, we lost a lot of points and a lot of probably extra points. So, um, we weren't going to win anyway because we had a bunch of team members that either were down sick or just didn't do anything. So our normal item count is normally about 150 to 200 items. We got like 53 done this year if you count in the ones that I didn't submit. So, but that's okay because everyone had fun. And that's the main point. And number two, we'll get stuff in the coffee table book because we have some items that are fantastic. So I'm really, really proud of that. And I'm proud of my team and I love each and every person. And that's all that matters. So anyway, on that note, I'm going to go have a fantastic week and I will try to come up with some kind of video, uh, somehow, <laughs> maybe cleaning, I don't know what. <laughs> anyway, take care guys, many blessings and I'll see you soon. Bye.